And I'm Gary Harris. It's time now for our award-winning Outside the Huddle feature presented by Premier Service Company. Premier Service Company, the power to keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Well, football is a contact sport requiring strength, speed, and athleticism. But you also need to be able to use your mind, use your brain to be effective on the football field and, of course, in life as well. Here's Football Friday's Alex Booth with more on Brain Day. A lot of thought goes into Brain Day trying to find what gives Alabama its home field edge and how it can be used to its advantage. I think it's a game changer getting them to campus to see all these different things and learn from experts. I always like to think like how can we take science, translate it to actual real life stuff. This past spring, for the second consecutive year, UA's Human Environmental Sciences Department, as well as its School of Arts and Sciences and the Alabama Life Research Institute, hosted football teams from Tuscaloosa's Central High School, Paul Bryant, and Westlawn Middle School to see the game through a lens that is uniquely Alabama. You're looking at guys that are at Bama to them, it's like that's close to being to the NFL. Devontae Smith, for our educational wise, before the week or on Sunday or something, uh, he was like, he tried to do all his schoolwork before ahead of time so he could focus on uh, straight football. Tide players are not the only thing that evoked an audible response. The noise that it made, the understanding what you could put in that machine, uh, how it actually operate, the knowledge that our kids got is, is second to none. You can't beat it. I have a blood alcohol content of 0.08 to .13. So we added driving this year, and that's because we have a brand new lab on campus called the Trip Lab. It's a brand new resource. These kids are learning to drive because they're getting permits, they're driving cars. Why not incorporate that into uh, our brain day because operating a motor vehicle, you have to practice brain safety, you have to practice a lot of safety behaviors. Brain day hit on a series of topics, sleep hygiene, nutrition, hydration, driving, exercise, and concussion. Knowledge is power, execution is vital, and the schools wasted no time incorporating the lessons of Brain Day into their own programs. I have seen less sodas since we started, uh, more power aids and water, uh, you know, actually hydrating before practice, so I have seen that. While I'm at school, I drink like seven to eight bottles of water a day. When I go home, I probably drink like five or six of them. Like, that's the only thing I really drink for real. You got guys calling guys on, on things. Hey man, you need to be eating it. You know, hey coach, uh, I got my gallon of water today. You know, I'm getting hydrated. I got my proper rest. You know, I went to sleep at 10 o'clock last night and stay up on the game all night. It's not just giving them the information, it's making sure that they know how to use it. One of the activities at Brain Day was having each school create the pregame meal for every game on the 2024 schedule incorporate something active and fun so they can really get a real life experience and have a main takeaway um, from the session, right? So incorporating some of those active learning strategies to get them engaged with the material. Know your why. Why are we drinking water? Why are we doing the push up? Why are we practicing? Why are we meeting? And why you have to read the label on a nutrition pack to understand what you put in your body. You know, back in my day, we didn't have no why. We went back out there. Brain Day doesn't just highlight short-term goals for players, but shows why taking care of your body has long-term benefits. Like last year, everybody we play like first three or four games cramping out. But my guys, like they weren't cramping. So those are those real life things that, are, that we wanna see change, right? It's these things that we can control uh, to prevent things like cramping, concussions, other orthopedic injuries. It really just sheds a light on what's going on in sports. You know, oftentimes people try to not talk about it as much because, you know, people steer away from sports because of injuries, but injuries happen in, in every sport. So I think it's something that we definitely, you know, needed to be transparent with the kids. Okay, concussions happen. Dr. Wallace in Alabama see brain health as an umbrella term. There are many different things that go into it. And it's not just developing the brain, but developing healthy habits that will maintain over the course of time. 